I know who you are. You're the girl with that theater space in in our house. <laughs> I saw your, your show a few weeks ago. Uh, nonsense play. <laughs> uh, this is not a play. And what am I? Your plumber? <laughs> we actually just use that space for rehearsals now. Oh, no more shows? Well, yeah, but we want to rent other spaces. We got a grant. Oh, well, uh, I know places in Baltimore like pins on a map. That's how me and Joe met, actually. He's the one who actually told me about uh, your nonsense play. It was called Dada No. Oh, well. Dada, excuse me. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I, I like checking out different spaces in Baltimore, so I heard someone was putting on a, a show in the attic of their the townhouse in Station North, and I thought, Roger, you gotta see this. And uh, I wasn't disappointed. You stole all of our free cupcakes. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> They must have been pretty hungry. <laughs> Will you excuse me for a minute? Yeah, yeah. Sam, Julia set me up with Roger Egwit. I know. How do you know? I'm with her right now. You guys are together? What are you doing? We're eating dinner out. We wanted to give Ryan and Annie some space. Space? Sarah, it's fine. Just, you know, enjoy yourself and, uh, network. Uh, bye. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Ugh. How's the nosh? Stellar. I wrote a review on this pizza once. So it's a little thing in Yelp. Got a lot of hits though. <laughs> it's impressive. So you know a lot of cool spaces in Baltimore? Oh yeah. Uh, well, which neighborhoods are your favorite? Oh, uh, well, Gr Greek Town has delicious food. Oh, and and you can watch the uh, prostitutes work from a safe distance. <laughs> I meant like to see theater. Oh, uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, Station North, of course. Uh, what kind of thing are you looking for? Well, it's a one-woman show, so it's pretty simple. We need to be able to seat at least twenty. We want to charge five dollars and be able to serve beer. Just twenty people? Yeah. Look, why don't I give you my info before I forget? There we go. <laughs> uh, I'll see what I can do. Uh, yeah. Oh bo boy, uh, this is this is the first time a woman's given me her number. <laughs> cool. Well, I really should get oh, going. Oh, hey, uh. So, um, would you be interested in hearing how the Squash Tomatoes uh, got its start? It's a really good story. <laughs> sure. Well, uh, <laughs> so I was doing uh, my first stand-up show, and I was doing horribly. And uh, all of a sudden, some guy stood up, and he threw an actual tomato at my face. That's awful. Yeah. It hit me right in the teeth. And I... Um, I went to pick it up from the stage, and I held it out to the audience, and I stared right at the guy, and I squished the tomato with my fingertips, and all the juice ran down my face, and I said, laughing, what is worse than getting hit with a tomato? And the audience didn't say a thing. And I looked at the guy, and I said, Getting hit with a squash tomato! And I threw it right at his face! <laughs> and I, I thought I was going to get kicked out, but... It turns out he was a real asshole, so no one cared! And he was an asshole for all the shows, and... And so I got a, a round of applause, and... Uh, and I continued my set, and uh, it went really well, and so I decided to keep the name squash tomatoes and I added a few more acts and then we officially became the squash tomatoes of Baltimore that's uh really wow <laughs> it's a really great story one for the movies <laughs> oh uh, tell me about your theater group uh, uh the no sense uh, uh theater company <laughs> I'm just kidding you're you're the stick people right what's what's that about well when you draw a stick figure you're initiating the simplest beginning to a story. We, the stick people, 
create original work that we feel is important, but also universally relative. We want the audience to be able to build with us. But stick people are so uh, boring. <laughs> They're a blank canvas. They allow a sense of malleability within the community. The why, why would you want to be a blank canvas? Don't you want to be complete? They represent our accessibility to a larger audience. Okay, I mean, just speaking for myself, I as the audience member don't want to have to go an extra, go the extra mile to be entertained. Well, that's what television is for. We have degrees in this. It's our responsibility to create intelligent and engaging art. Will you excuse me? Thank you.